The name says it all. It's Nikki G and Juliet. Our show is a new brand of talk shows where we educate, bring transparency, and last but not least, bye. Right. Table talk. Table talk. Table talk. Ben, ben, ben. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome Hi. back from Christmas, going back to Thanksgiving, to all these holidays that we've had. Um, I feel super refreshed, getting my resets from my vacation and, you know, all, all that good stuff. Yeah, I just didn't yeah. get seawater, but say what? Well, we are getting in the mood, because if you can hear in the background... You're hearing DJ Otto, also known as Prodigy, who is going to join us for a quick little chat today. Um, and we're really excited to have him. So in the meantime, while we're waiting, you, we, we, we were just trying to get ourselves in the mood. Turn it up a little bit, Nikki. Let's, let, let's groove just a little, just a little, just a bit. DJ Nikki is sticking here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> I gotta put it back again. It's a nice groove to get you like Yeah, you can you can it starts you in the mood, guys. Don't you feel it? Come on guys, work it with me. Work it with me. Exercise. <laughs> we need to be doing this. I need to be exercising now. This stomach. <laughs> You're right. New Year's resolution is coming next. <laughs> she didn't even say that. I look good, you know. She's like, yeah, your resolution is your stomach. Say that. Yeah, you did. No one heard me say nothing about you and your stomach. But New Year's resolution. <laughs> <laughs> left, right. <laughs> my favorite side is my left side. <laughs> Nikki has a favorite side. Oh my god! I wonder, I wonder who can tell us what Nikki's favorite side is. Is it? I know. Or right? You see, I told you I have a favorite side. I know. I do, I do I have a favorite side. Saw the, saw the show so that they could actually say, "What's your favorite side, left or right?" Okay, so let me let me lower this down a little bit because I'm like <laughs> shouting over this thing. <laughs> Hold on. I need a lot of training being a DJ because I can't even find the, the, the volume. <laughs> you can't find the volume? <laughs> so you've been listening to DJ Arrows. That that's one of his his very first song that he brought out that catapulted him, catapulted him into the stardom or the person that he's created now you know so mm -hmm. he should be here in a few minutes um but before we start how was your week or how was My, your christmas well yeah. christmas was good and i didn't i didn't end up going all the way to dc because of the covid and and what was going on did i spit when i said that <laughs> Oh God, only you can see that. <laughs> okay, yeah, so um, we ended up staying in, in the end because it was just too much with the COVID and having to um, find a place to do the, um, to actually do the, the testing. Cause I wanted to make sure that when I, where I'm going, I'm not bringing any kind of sickness cause everybody here was starting to get sick. So we decided to, me and my daughter tr started to decide, okay, let me, let us get tested so that when we get there, we know if anyone comes out sick, it's not, it's not because of us. Um, the lines were around the corner, um, waiting times was forever. And in some places, the actual place sold out of the test that, that they can do. So I was getting frustrated. And then I started to hear about DC and, and Maryland and, and how many people were coming down with it and people mm. that we knew was coming down with the virus. So in the end, I was like, you know what? 
I'm just not going to go. We're just going to, we're going to do it nice and quiet here, which is, which is a bit messed up because, you know, my daughter is her first time away during Christmas, the oldest. And, yeah, and I really wanted to, to be there. Yeah. Yeah. So she's, she's been saying, you know, mom, just come, just come. But if I get there, uh, I want to be sure when I do things, I want to be sure. I don't want to mess anything up. So true, I'm just going to stay. And so the rest of the week, I'm just going to be chilling. That's it. That's, yeah. that's my Christmas. So it's a Christmas present. Um, as for the presents, I'm just going to mail them off tomorrow. So everybody will get their presents and, and we'll come again or regroup on a different day. Yeah. And then as, as I said to my cousin this morning, I said, listen, I said, Chins, we're going to still put on our Christmas um, pajamas and we're going to take this picture, even if it's in July. I'm making sure we get this picture taken. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, so I would... Yeah, I, I, I saw a flyer not to cut you off or anything but I saw a flyer and mm -hmm. in this flyer I think I took a picture of it it's saying um you know like usually when when something goes wrong at a location or maybe there's a fire or or something or maybe there's some type of disaster mm -hmm. someone had up marked safe wearing matching pajamas today I don't think you you, you oh, probably can't, can't see, see it because of my my. We'll, we'll, thing. we'll take a we'll take a picture and we'll we'll, and we'll, we'll put it post it up. up. So but I was it. like, that is so funny. Like I know I wanted to do like black because it was so hard to get matching pajamas. Like you have to buy it early in the season in order to get it. So I'm like, you know what? We will wear black. Or that didn't work out because I wore shorts, my daughter wore black, my mom wore her colored thing, everybody wore their own stuff. And then the next day, you know, I went by my cousin and, and we dressed up and took pictures and stuff like that. Yeah, because yeah. some of them are expensive. These pajama things, the one, it was like $42, $42. Yes. Where'd yes. you go? Um, but I ended up going into Macy's and getting it from Macy's where I got them, I got them, um, was it Macy's? No, it was Coles. Coles. It was okay. Coles. And I, got, okay. I got a big discount on it. Hmm. So it was um it was about 28 each each yeah. um, set. So yeah. yeah, so you'll see a picture of us at some point. We're in matching pajamas, even if it's the summer, I don't care. We are going to take this picture. And it's all of us. <laughs> even if it's the summer, so you're gonna do Christmas in. in the summer. Yes, that's right. That's right. Um, I told as I told my daughter. Christmas will be done. We will do Christmas. We're just going to do it a little bit different and it won't be on the same day, but it's all right. We're yeah. Yeah. Sending all the love. Yeah, yeah. So for the remainder of the, the week, we're going to just relax um, until time to go back to work, I guess. Yeah. yeah. What about you? What about you? Because I know you went, Nikki went, you know, she the road dog. She went on. <laughs> no, well, the thing is, oh, let me just interject this. It looks like you're looking at me on that side. Like not yeah. how you usually look at me. I over know here. because I can't, I can't. Let me move your picture. How about yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Is that better? Yeah, yeah. It looks like you're looking at the screen. So, um, okay. So let me start over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because people don't Christmas... remember to do that. Huh? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this is going all on right, because right, anyway. <laughs> Go. <laughs> my my Christmas. It was it was nice. Um, just as I came back from um, my vacation, I mean, I had to take the test anyway, so I knew everything was fine. Um, and then my mom did her test. Everybody had their test done or whatever. So it was okay on our side, but I said, I wasn't going anywhere else. It was my mom and my cousin, cause I know she's good when it comes to that, because she has her daughter that she has to make sure that everything's okay with anybody that comes in the house, you know? So yeah. We stayed by my mom, my mom cooked and everything. And um, we just opened presents. We FaceTimed my son because he didn't want to really go. And mm -hmm. then um, after that, the next day, I just went to my cousins. Um, I mean, she had a uh, death in the family. So it was oh. kind of like a nice, we saw each other in Trinidad and then we came back and we saw each other here. So it was pretty, it was a nice union from, from, Trinidad to now you know it, it was it was really interesting really interesting mm -hmm. and then the food of course topped it off because everybody send in black cake I don't know if in Jamaica they do black cake or fruit cake oh yeah we do we do rum cake we call it rum cake right um, 
in fact, I still got so I got I got rum cake, sponge cake because um, their grandma, my daughter's grandma, baked cake for me to bring down to her. And what can I do except for eat it? <laughs> Wait, you ate someone else's rum cake? It, it's rum cake. I, she she did a big one too because she knew that I was going down, and so she was like, "Make sure you make my kids hate when I do her accent. Make sure you bring my, my granddaughter her cake." <laughs> so I bought I bought this. I, I have the cake. Oh my god! And so on, I started gonna... nibbling at it, and then oh. I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna eat some more." But then I was like, "Maybe I'll go tomorrow," and it just never came about. So. Yeah, I got lots of rum cake. So if anyone wants some rum cake, I got I got some. Just a little uh -huh. bit there. <laughs> no, I got a lot there. I got a lot there. Yeah. Sorry, I'm <laughs> multitasking because I'm like, I'm trying to make sure that that Ado's time is our time because if he's in the Caribbean, oh. it's going to be an hour. An hour ahead? It depends on where he is, because I'm not sure where he is. Oh, if he's in St. Lucia. This is where we go. Do, 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 <laughs> okay, so I'll wait for him to answer me because he said that he was going to come in. But, um, oh, okay. yeah, sorry, I, I don't want you to repeat the, the cake portion because I, I totally, I know everybody else heard it. <laughs> but the cake, the cake, oh my gosh. Cakes, I brought four. Don't ask me <gasps> how I manage. And you know, they're very heavy. Yes. So my aunt baked two. Then my cousins sent two, and then my mom gave me half of each one. I think one of them is the same thing, so I get you know one of of the the other. And e -e. now I now I feel how no, you sorry, when you Leo, look away. Leo, Leo was telling me that it's an hour. Uh, um, they're an hour ahead of us. In 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 in, in Saint Lucia. Lucia. Yeah. Oh, so I don't know if he's in Saint Lucia, which means he probably tried to to log on like an hour before. Oh. Hopefully not. But I, I just told him the time is, is thing here. Oh, now he's coming in. Yeah. Okay. Connecting. Something went wrong because <laughs> now he's connecting. Okay. Just waiting for the video. Hello. Hey Ado. Hey, hey good night. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. How are you yeah. doing? Um, I'm fine. How about you? We're doing good. We're doing good. Where are you, may I ask? Because I, yes. I just remember, I was like, wait a minute. It's a little after, <laughs> but I know, you know, how timing is and stuff. Are you in America oh. or are you in Solution? No, I'm in Brooklyn now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in oh, Brooklyn now. No. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. We're, we're here saying, oh, no, we missed him. Oh, no, no, no. an hour behind, behind yeah <laughs> look me saying it like i know and i just found out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> wow so, so welcome Adam. welcome Ardo, to table talk thank you G and juliet <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> <laughs> well nikki go ahead start it to, you know do your you do what you do all right, mm -hmm. so we, we did our introductions with Ado. We said that, well, Ado could tell us more about himself. He is a DJ. He's also an artist. I don't know how you do it. I really don't know how you do it. But um, the very first song that you introduced us to, to now, I've seen the growth. I've seen, I've, 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 heard, I've heard or heard or hear, heard, hearing. I don't know what's going on with that. But... <laughs> It's like it's so much of a difference every time you sing a song, you know? Yeah. So yeah. tell us about yourself, where you're from. We want to know that first and how you got into what you're doing now from artist to, to DJing and all that stuff. I mean, you could take breaths, one minute yeah. answers, stuff like that. You don't have to rattle everything right off, you know? Okay, so. no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, so good night again. Um, I go by the name DJ Addo, like you said. I'm from St. Lucia, but I was actually born in Guyana, but few people know. Oh. And um, But I was basically raised in St. Lucia from a very young and tender age. So 
I basically consider myself a St. Lucian and in growing up in St. Lucia, music was never my priority or my, you know, but mm-hmm. it was actually football or what they call soccer over okay. here. And it still is, it still is. Few people know that as well. But, you know, when, you know, you feel like something is just calling you basically and like it's there for you. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's not about what you want to do, but what you have to do. True. So I choose to pursue music further. Um, yeah. So how I got into music was in primary school. That's like high school up here, what they call high school up here. Yeah. Um, in primary school, I saw, I just noticed what the local DJs would be doing. Mm-hmm. For example, one of the main persons were Hollywood HP. Mm. And like how they would be able to control a crowd and have fun and just be out there. And, you know, it looked very exciting to me. And it looked like something I didn't mind doing. Like I wanted to do it too. Mm. And in those thoughts, I... I had a laptop at that time, I believe, and I started to gather music and other resources that would enable me to try, like, getting on my way to being at what I used to see. And um, thankfully, I had people around me that were helping me and did not deprive me of anything. Like my mother, for example, she would do things like give me her personal laptops at the time. If mine was to go bad, you know, she would sacrifice and give me hers. So I'm thankful for stuff like that. That's good. Um, I had, yeah, neighbors and other people in the community who would give me music. You know, I would be going around with my little flash drive, collecting oh, music from everybody. Hello. You know, <laughs> yeah, and just building up my my crates and my folders. You know, and my my library of music. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I remember back then when I just started. They told me I'm um, one song. I need to make sure that I have a salty TikTok. Back then, I was like, I was salty. like, what is this? Yeah, okay. salty bang, bing, bang. That song. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. what is that yeah i was like what is that why why do i need to have that you know they told me it would get the party started and you know it's a song that you could play mostly anywhere and i remember days like that like i said um primary school and from there i just kept going i did things like release my little mixtapes on soundcloud you know doing little youtube videos just growing more and more as time went by mm. um i used to Network a lot. Networking has helped me a lot. And it's something that I believe in strongly. Um, Ever since primary school, coming into secondary school, I also did stuff like competitions. I remember my first competition was in secondary school my last year. It was the second annual DJ Clash. I took part and I came first, actually. I won. And funny enough, Hollywood HP was actually a judge at that DJ Clash. Oh wow! And, um, yeah. Did you get yeah. a chance to tell him that you were his idol? No, or he's your no. idol. I mean, no, no. Never I never told him. To I, he never knows. If he sees this, he would know. He but he, he never knows. <laughs> All right. He never knows. Let me ask you a quick question. If we go live, mm-hmm. let's say on Facebook or anything, are you up to that to do the interview yeah. live? Yeah, that's right. that's fine. Juliet, when we did the interview live, did it did it say it saved right for Facebook? I'm trying to remember. Um, I don't think so. I think it, I, I think we went on both. We went on one and then we went on the other. All right. We did Facebook and then we, we we went over to Instagram. All right, but 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 this recording, yeah, it this should have, reco- right? It it recorded Facebook, but not Instagram since we did Instagram yeah. from yeah. our phone. Yeah. All right. Do you want to go live or just leave it the way it is? <laughs> I mean, we can. It it doesn't matter, you know. It doesn't yeah. really matter to me. Yeah. You want to do well, it to you? Hey, look, I'm down with anything. <laughs> Whatever. Let's do this. Okay, let me see. <laughs> let me see. You're gonna, you're gonna do... choose virtual. Uh, let's see. So it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, we're going live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I don't like, you know, he's a talented guy, and um I feel like once this works, you know how I am with this thing. And then we're talking and it's on Facebook and I don't even know. All right. Yeah. It's behind here. One second. Oh, I got to reduce this. <laughs> I don't, it might work. Then again, it might not. <laughs> yeah, it's going to work. It's going to work. Hold on. 
I just have to make sure and bring up the Zoom after. Continue. Choose what you allow. Continue. Don't show personal meeting room. All right, just setting it up, hold on. Right. I don't know if you have a, a crunch time or a time that you got to sign up, you let me know, okay? Yeah, no, that's that's okay. I'm here, I'm free. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, so it's going live. Mm -hmm. Okay, live yeah. stream, got it. <laughs> I just got to mute it so it doesn't... Um... What, so it don't echo? Yeah, so it doesn't echo. So we're live now. Yeah. We're live on Facebook. Yeah, it's showing live. And then I'm putting on the live chat. Juliet, if you want to. Yeah, it's live. It's just that you I ready? don't have it. Yeah. OK. I just gotta so, it. So, so we're live right now on Nikki G or we're, we're live on the Nikki G, right? Yeah, we're live on the Nikki G. OK, okay. good. All right. You guys yeah. can see it on, on there. All right, so so Ado, um, yeah. everyone. This was just so unexpected. <laughs> I know <laughs> because I saw the look on your face, and you're like, "Wait a minute!" <laughs> like, wait, we didn't discuss uh, this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, look, we're live now, so yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. Facebook. Yes. Good night to Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Good night, everyone. Right now, we're on Table Talk Show. We're live and we're interviewing DJ Addo. Um, mm -hmm. This is actually going to air you. Everyone on Facebook is going to see it um, since it's live. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it's going to be also on our YouTube page, which is tabletalkshow.nj. Uh, no okay. Problem. So yeah. Addo, continue. You know, oh. you were talking about how you got into music and stuff like that. But what I want to know is, you know, you said that you didn't, you, you weren't into music then and the switch just came just like that because of someone you saw. Like, what were you into before you football. got into music? Football, football. Football, football. right, right, football. right. So yeah. were you playing, you were playing, you were yeah. active. Yeah, every day, every day after school. There was like a court, uh, like a basketball court, what they have over here. But back in St. Lucia, we used those for football. Mm -hmm. You know, with small goals, I would play on them every day after school in primary school. When the pole lights came on, that was my signal to get home. And um, when I was in secondary school, I used to play on a pitch, like a field with grass mm -hmm. uh, every day. Yeah, I would practice every day and try to play for the community club in the north of the island at the time. Yeah. So do you still play, though? Do you play still? Ever, ever since I moved to America, I stopped playing. Oh, yeah. don't stop. Like people, I mean, I know my kids um, played soccer from five until 18. And then they stopped because maybe a friend, you know, their friends wasn't playing or. Um, they went to college. That's college. But yeah. in college, yeah. Janine played. Right. But it's like something, something just changes. You get into something else. You get into dancing. You know, you got into yeah. music. So one of the reasons being is that I didn't really have friends when I came over here. I didn't really know anybody yeah, so hard. that I could ask or accompany me and we could go. Or number two, if I found anything, it wasn't as serious as I would like. I like stuff to be organized and, you know, and then three, I had hopes of playing for college. Like you said, mm -hmm. I, I was hoping for a start then and there with the college team and just take it from there. Yeah. So, and then four, music was bringing in income basically so you know football wasn't 
providing. Oh, I know. Once so. you're young, the yeah. money talks, man. Football don't even. Yeah. Like football. <laughs> but you can Especially... make money from you can make money from soccer. But it's just yeah. that, as as he said, yeah. it's like you have to get into the sport, but a club or something. Oh, a club or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and being a wow. resident of New York, you know, you you can't afford to be lacking on your finances. True. That's right. That's yeah. right. You can't go on a date with no uh, with your football. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, let people in international know because they tend to think it's so easy. Yeah, and right. Money flows yeah. here, like simple. water. You know, I know it had to have been difficult transitioning um, from St. Lucia over to America. Um, and then you actually just started to get into music. So is it because you were, were a loner in the beginning? So you're alone. So you start, you, you know, you start doing your music. Is that what brought it, it, brought it all out? Okay, so in continuation from secondary school after the DJ competition, Genial. Um, there was... Other things like I used to play little gigs. I used to get gigs over there. And then there was this thing in your last year of secondary school where you do an internship at um, basically your field of study or your career interest. They send everyone off to a specific business place organization for a week, I believe. And I got the opportunity to do mine at the number one radio station in St. Lucia. That's Caribbean Hot FM. Uh, there it is. And um yeah, so the opportunities were there and like the resources to grow and to learn. And I was thankful for that. But there wasn't much after then. I mean, I used to just continue basically until then I had to leave to go to Barbados for a year for embassy reasons and all of that. And then in 2018, when I finally moved to New York, I was still into the, um, the year in, in Barbados. I didn't see any progress and stuff because I was basically inside for the whole year, just listening to music. And that's the same year when I ended up falling in love with um, Bashman Soka, basically. And that year, the biggest song was Marsville, Give It To You. Yeah. Mm. That song, that song, that song made me fall in love with Bajan music. Yeah. And then oh. from there, yeah, in 2018, January, I moved to New York. And I, like you said, I was a loner just inside. I could still be that way, even as far as now. And yeah, so I was just doing music behind the scene, learning stuff like production. I actually got into production before I started singing. So I would do little remixes. I saw you guys interview with um, Carbon Media. And like, yeah, he was talking about like intro edits and remixes yeah, and stuff. So yeah, yeah, I started to dabble into that and, you know, learn the, so the you, simpler part attend, of it. Did you attend any of his classes? Because I know he says he does it. He didn't do the one recently, but he always said that he wants to do it. So anybody who wants to learn is like people could, you know, learn from within the camp. Yeah. I'm part of his group and I did um, inquire about them, but. I never got like a follow-up response. I don't think they officially started yet or something, but I mean, it's something that I'm interested in and I want to take part in, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, so from from there, um, I just kept doing the DJ thing. I got involved with, um, oh no, that was, that was after. So we fast forwarding from 2018 to 2019. Yeah. Where there was the last St. Lucian Carnival. I went to St. Lucia that summer and um, towards the end, it was actually the night before I was supposed to return to New, um, New York. Mm -hmm. I visited a local studio I've called Seagull Productions, where I ended up doing my first song called Best Side with um, an artist called T-Boss from St. Lucia. Yeah. yeah so we, we were over, listening to that before. We were came. actually oh. listening to it and yeah. jamming to it. Okay. I was trying my left side. You know, <laughs> you, 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 I, I want yeah. to know. Yeah, with with song is is the one that you know. But I see you yeah. have your headphones on. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you gonna play for us a little bit, or you just oh oh you no, it's just it's, it's just connected so I could you know um not cause too much noise at home. Got probably you. you know just some privacy here. But um okay. okay, so back to best side. It was my first song and actually my biggest song to date. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, and the success and response from it so far was not expected mm. like i tell everybody like 1000 views would have been fine with me i would have been satisfied and um so yeah i did the song that night going back to that day 
Um, over the course of the summer, the producer sent us like five beats and he asked us to choose because I like before going to St. Lucia, I made a post on Facebook and I was like, I'm going to make my first song this year. You know, I basically manifested it, you could say. And um, yeah. everybody, like my real supporters were like cheering me on and they were for the idea. And um, when I got to St. Lucia, I proceeded to get in the beats, like I said. And mm. actually, the beat that I was interested in was not the one for best side. He was wow. actually chose the one for best side. Mm. He was like, this one is better. This one hits harder, you know? It does, so, yeah, too. We, it does, we went does. with that one. It does. Yeah. You can't help it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, we chose that one. We sat at my apartment at the time and we tried to write, pen some lyrics, you know, and that's why I came up with the chorus, um, left, right, left, right. You know, I was just rhyming and stuff. Mm. We had like up until the last verse and then we went to the studio the night before I left, like I said, and I finished the last verse on spot. It was just a freestyle. And um, yeah, I had to do the song, like, you know, like artists have takes, like you have to do it over and over. And I had over, to do it over yeah. so many times because like it was my first time being as a dj i never used to use the mic while i would perform as a dj so it was something that i was never confident in and used to practice mm. so i had to get that energy and you know it still wasn't what i wanted but it was better than what i was originally coming with you know they kept telling me do it over do it over come again you know louder you know yeah. but when, so, when when you when for a singer right for an artist yeah, yeah. you heard people who said um they got into music they love singing they sing in the shower and all that stuff but you went from music yeah. to singing to making yeah. your first song. So that's yeah. something in itself is, is you know. And it doesn't work that unusual. like that. Normally, yeah. normally, it's like, it's like you did it one time, boom. And, and you, and you yeah, have to know that you're able to sing. So where did you get that confidence of you now singing? Or did you used to like rap in between where people know that you could do it or freestyle? Um, so what I was actually good at was poetry and like English classes. Mm. So that helped me to be able to like pen a song in like three to five minutes. That helped me a lot. So that's why you would find more of my songs being more lyrical and like more songs that you'd have to pay attention. Like even being soca, I would sometimes over flood my verses and make it hard for me to be able to perform. And I would have to find myself going back to remove words or, you know, shorten stuff or make it more relatable or easy to yeah. sing. But yeah. yeah, English and literature, like poetry classes always helped me. I was very good at English in school. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, so that, that helped me to just make the transition into being able to pen it. And then I just used to tell myself, like, if you want to get to the next level, if you want to be successful, like, you know, I used to force myself basically, like you have to do it. So, you know, don't hold back. Just when you get on a mic, just do your thing. And, you know, it's yeah. all for the good. It's all for the better. So just And you have to also it. come with the energy, the energy, the crowd feels yeah. the energy. You come with that and you got, yeah. you got them. You could, you could be saying anything, but once you come with the right energy. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> all about the vibe. Yeah, yeah. the vibe, yeah. the right vibe. And crowd participation too, because once you have that vibe and they follow through, sometimes you you forget that you're on stage or you forget and that you just, you just go with it. Look, look, yeah, I'm saying true. it. I'm, look, look, I'm saying it like mm. I said. Yeah, I said, I'm <laughs> <laughs> All right. So but, then, what would you what would you say is like your favorite? I mean, because you're 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 a mixture of everything. When I was listening to the you know we were me and nikki was going in before you even came on we were playing some of your stuff everything sounds different it's like different each tape each yeah. song was different totally different like what is your favorite what do you you prefer to sing like how do you prefer to sing is that the right way to say so it? I, yeah. I prefer i think i prefer the stuff on my album which is like more music with meaning and music that would make your brain dance like some mm. people say rather than your feet because mm -hmm. like I said, like going back to poetry and stuff, like I feel like I could express myself best in those kind of songs. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's no limits to it. So yeah. right. say like dance all hip hop, R and B, like a mixture of that, like Afrobeat pop, like just mm -hmm. along that line, but but not soca. Soca is kind of like too easy, you could mm. see. Well, oh, then we segment. That, too easy. Then we segment. Then we segment. Yeah. From St. Okay. Lucia. Yeah, so that's explain. Explain, Easy. Well, one thing I, 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 I realized, because that's what I said before, is like your music from best side to, let's say, Paranoia, as listen to yeah. Paranoia with Squid and 
it's like yeah. I'm like this is a totally different person. I'm like, who's this? You know, yeah, you don't even say, that was another thing. You don't sound the same. No, it's totally <laughs> different. And then you mentioned um, Guyana, mm -hmm. and I yeah. said you have a tone like this guy called Fojo. I don't know if you know Fojo, the artist. Yeah, I've seen his songs. Yeah. Why? Yeah. And and it's like your voice matured. Not to say that you ho don't have your own, but I'm just relate, re yeah. kind of relating to yeah. it. Where yeah. it's it's almost similar in the sense that he sings from his heart. He sings, yeah. you know, things that that he goes through as well. Yeah. So it's relatable, you know. Yeah. Right. Um, I believe in um. That's that's what happens with time. That's basically the effect of time. Yeah. Like in relation to my artwork and everything, you know, timing has been a trust in time has been a big thing for me, and it's yeah. something that I believe in. You know, the alignment of the universe and all that kind of stuff. So um with time, I guess going through stuff and just learning and remembering, you know, gaining wisdom, gaining knowledge throughout everyday life. Yeah. You know, I put it into my music and you know, I just make use of it and try to make the best decisions going forward. So um on the album, the aim was actually to sound different and to give something different. Mm -hmm. Someone even told me they they were expecting like the regular pace and power stuff, you know, the back and out stuff. Right, they were right. shocked. Yeah, yeah, they were so shocked when. Even the yeah. intro. I mean, it's it's good to show that you're versatile. You can yes. do yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah. that that was the focus. Yeah, you know, to show those who pay attention to me, basically my supporters, that there's more to offer than just my side. And you know, I'm basically here to stay, like some people would say. And I right. try to, you know, there's no limits. To this yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so then yeah. sorry Nikki, go on oh, no 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 go ahead go ahead no 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 <laughs> no so then I, I i wanted to ask what what else are you working on are you were currently working on something now i mean i know that you're we're going through covid and all of that stuff so what are you working on now what kind of beat is it gonna have or, or okay, is this so a surprise the focus now is actually basically i would say like hibernation like taking a little break mm -hmm. until since they announced that st lucia carnival will be happening next year i'll be taking a break until like the season for releasing music for carnival starts so mm -hmm. i could give my people enough time to consume the album because it's a lengthy 20 tracks and it's only a week since it released so yeah. i'd be giving wow. them like some months to take that in and then you know we go again yeah right i have someone here yeah. dave who says um dave mm -hmm. i don't want my glasses sorry <laughs> he yeah. says that you're very creative thank you thank you mr dave yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i try to be you know try to be different and stand out you know bring something different to the table yeah, yeah. but in relation yeah. to now now that you you're saying that you know you're going to give people time since it's yeah. a 20 track you said yeah album now it kind of puts into perspective in a way why some soca artists might mm -hmm. probably wait until carnival because i mean you, you've you've had r b artists who do the same thing right if they come up with yeah. one track if they come up with an mm -hmm. album but you find soca artists would wait until carnival is that the only reason why you wait until cover because of this as you said it does it hurt you in a way or if let's say other artists that you know when they wait only when they make our music seasonal if you right. make our music seasonal right. Right. then how do we expect it to grow like what is your thoughts on that right I, I i was actually about to say that i feel like it's a bad thing like ofanals is trying to push the um no seasons movement mm -hmm. so um yeah i do believe in producing music year round but um everything has its pros and cons i mean when you release closer in a specific season, it's more likely to have a greater impact and effect. You know, studying like past carnival seasons, it's mm -hmm. proven to happen. And then um, in terms of it being something good as well, I mean, sometimes less is more, and then you build up anticipation and around that season, they will be looking forward knowing that it's coming. Yeah. So um, they will go looking for it. But then, you know, we just need to figure out which one has more like is there more pros or more cons and i guess go with the one that's best for us and um i'm not sure you know but for me 
one of the main reasons also, like I said, is for people to get time to consume the album. And then, you know, you don't yes. want to be flooding and putting too much True. work out there. True. And um, people but might get tired of you and... You put a lot you know? of work. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, I, I see music after music and stuff. But I guess, yeah. you know, with you releasing the album and letting people know what's going on and stuff like that. Yeah. But you promote. Like, I know a couple yeah. of people that prom- promote. It's you, RKG. And then there's a couple other people that really promote your album and I give you credits. So yeah, I try because, you know, it's it's just me. It's literally only me. I have no team or anybody behind, you know, so I have to go over time and, you know, try for myself because if I don't, nobody else will, you know. Yeah. No one so, else yeah. is going to I have no like choice. It. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I start it wow. off and hopefully they pick up and, you know, yeah. they, they fall in line and give me that hand of support, you know, going forward. Yeah. 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 Wow. 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 Well, then, <laughs> um, I think he's actually spoken about most of the things um, that I have here in terms of my um, questions and questions. stuff. Questions. Um, um, I'm really proud of him, though. Oh my God. Thank you. The one, thank you. One so young to just go on out there and just do your thing and and come out yeah. with a plan. You had a pl- you have a plan, young man. Yeah. And I yeah. Love I have- it. I have a plan. It's it's always in here. My plan is always in here. That's it. <laughs> I think That's of it, it. and then and, and he, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it down in my notes and I go according to it, you know, like day by day. And you know, you have to I I, I believe in learning the rules of the game before you play, which in music it would be like studying those who are there before you, those who are there now, ex, um paying attention to what is going on, like you know. Just studying yeah. the, the craft and, you know, being good yeah. at what you do, giving it your all. Yeah. So, yeah. Something so that I, I try to do. I see that you have a DK Entertainment. Could you explain that? Like, okay. Is that so? ADK Entertainment was something that formed in secondary school. I would see that I believe that there's power in numbers and, you know, teamwork could make the dream work. And, yeah. um, if, you know, two hands clap. So, you know, if we would come together, we would probably achieve things faster and more ideas would flow, you know, and more the work rate would be higher. So in realizing that in secondary school back then, I reached out to my classmate at that time, whose name is Kamali. He currently lives in St. Lucia. And I told him, you know, how about we form a team, you know, back then it was AK, A for Ado and then K4 Kamali, AK mm. Entertainment or AK Productions. You know, yeah. we were just testing waters and trying something out, trying to probably build a brand, build something that could be great later on in life and, you know. Right. And then, um, yeah, so we started off with that. We just used to probably do our individual bookings and then upload the photos to one page and just brand ourselves as a team and whatever. And then later on, another guy joined he goes by the name of DeAndre. He was a DJ. All three of us were DJs at that time in secondary school. So that's where that D came in. So it then became ADK Entertainment. You know, we had our SoundCloud profile, our YouTube. We would, you know, put out our mixes. And, you know, we would do joint mixes probably for the Christmas. I remember we did one in 2017 Christmas. And, you know, we would just try to, you know, take on stuff as a team, try to get bookings as a team and, you know, yeah. try to build something and, it just stuck until then, up to a day like today, you know, we're still trying, still going on, hoping to build something strong and something that could be recognized worldwide, like probably yeah. chromatic, chromatic. I don't know if you've show, um, heard of chromatic from Jamaica or yeah, we have. Bass, bass Odyssey or Stone Love or one of those, like, you know, um, yeah, sound yeah. system teams. Yeah, no it, it, it was yeah. something like that. Yeah, it was something like that. You know, that was the idea and the picture and the goal in sight when we decided to come together and create that. Yeah. Right, right. right. Wow. Yeah, basically a sound team, sound system, yeah. Sound system. All right. Yeah. That's good. So so the name that you have, Prodigy, do you what do you prefer people call you when you're singing as an artist or when you're DJing? Do you use Prodigy or is it just, just DJ Addo? The DJ Addo is preferred, but the Prodigy would just come like before, like you know, the Prodigy DJ Addo, or even yeah. after DJ Addo the Prodigy. Oh, it was like okay. a self. A self-proclaimed name, a nickname that I give to myself. And it's like, again, to make people think and like sort of shine light on the fact of me trying to be different and standing out, which is like the definition behind being a prodigy. Mm -hmm. 
so yeah if they didn't know that meaning they would probably look it up and you know see that that's probably my aim or you know what i aim to achieve and yeah yeah, right. so, yeah but dj ado yeah dj ado is the branded name yeah all right so i'm gonna be the dj today yeah and i'm gonna <laughs> And Julia will be the sound effect. Wiki, wiki. Uh, let me let me just play. I'm just gonna mm -hmm. play a quick because I know when you guys have your setup, it's better. Yeah. But I'm just gonna play it really quick because we didn't ask you to like set up or anything like that. Yeah. So what are you gonna you... do? You're gonna ask him to sing or something? Yeah, well, yeah, he can sing. Oh. He can he can oh. do a, a, a thing, but I'm gonna just play this and then he can do a acapella if he likes. Hopefully, my, right. yeah. this thing doesn't come on. Hold on. Ugh. She never gets this right, Ado. So I'm not a DJ. Listen, <laughs> she never gets this right. So I don't know why she's here. You go. Here you go. Oh. So I don't care. Well, he will talk about it after. Yeah. That was the last verse, the Ben 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 part. That was the last verse oh, yeah. I was referring to. Yeah, we nice. did that in the studio. Nice. So, would you like to do yeah. a little a cappella for us, or do you need like music in the background? Okay. Uh, no, I'll go a cappella. Okay. So, oh, I was, you know, I would have done music for you, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we go from the intro. I pick up the producer, Seagal Productions, DJ Ado. There. Okay, left, right. Left, right, your left side is your best side. Go down low on your right side, but come up back on your left side. Now, right, left, right, left. Mama, look at that niceness. The bumper big like a ant's nest. Can I take a wine empress? Just take a wine on your empress. Close on it like a seamstress. Your bumper don't have no excess, so when you wine, is a real mess. Baby, you have no contest. Take it slow, it's a process. Because, girl, you know you're the hottest. No other girl them care test. Now, stop. Ule Sam M. Corti Max. Take your time, my girl, relax. Because you make your two touch clap. But I want you to come roll, roll, roll your bumper, push it back on me. Take your time, my girl, look back and do something tricky. Left, right, left, right. Your left side is your best side. Go down low on your right side, but come up back on your left side. Now, right, left, right, left. Mama, look at that niceness. The bumper big like a ant's nest. Can I take a wine empress? Yeah. <laughs> very good what i thank like you, thank is, you. you see how he put that together with the simtress and the excess and the yeah. you know like you really really have to listen you really have yes. to listen. Yeah. yeah even 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 in that i was just the thought process i was just thinking about like you know a female a, a west indian female you know during carnival time dancing in front of me and like what would i want to instruct her and tell her to do yeah. and that's what oh, came to my mind to on the left side, yeah the left side. yeah yeah that's that's what i would have been saying to her yeah and that's how the song came about and you know we just yeah. threw in you know the nursery mine i'm row 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 your yeah, boat gently down the stream yes, yeah. yes. we threw in we threw in that line there so there's a sense it's of funny I heard humor you. yeah yeah there's a sense it's of like humor adult, you know adult nursery yeah. rhyme <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, we're just, oh, just having fun with it overall still, you know? That's it's about cool. fun, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Wow, wow. We just so enjoy you. Oh, my God, that is so good. Really <laughs> and truly. Let me just yeah. get one of his songs that, so at least people could hear the versatility in it. 
that we played earlier. Hold on, let's see. Sacrifice violence. That's one. I was playing like a few of them. This one. She seems to like that one. Yeah, yeah she does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's a fan favorite so far. It's one of the top oh, it ones is. so far. Yeah. Bad times, bad this, this is a versatility that I like. So my man all yeah. the none of the other ones it's for like a bad life, you know what? Boy. Can man just want to live the good life? Stress free and happy. Yeah. DJ I do. Pin. All humans bring. Give up your heart. That's not enough offering. Offering. Pin. That's suffering. All I got <laughs> from just the human beings. The vengeance I feel when I refuse to steal. If I ever got shot, I own up and come kill. All eyes on my friends and should watch family first. As compared to strangers, they would do you worse. The world we live in is very scary. Not even a 25. Things go see merry. Generation after next that then gets deep. So me fully paranoid and watching the company I keep. Today for you, tomorrow for me. But both destinations is the cemetery. Put nothing past no one, expect it unexpected. Because you'd be surprised who was the best. She did a better life, is to have no regret. Couple team ready to strive, no we have finished yet. Some people see the vibes, but all they do is stare. Some things just won't be right if you don't give it care. And sometimes I know it's hard, but I'm not asking much. Yeah, somebody's keep me right, I don't know who to trust. Plenty lies and useless fights, I guess I've seen enough. But that's just the thing to find, it's not in any rush. Mm, yeah. I'm, giving, I'm not giving out everything because people have to go and listen to the album. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah. True. Where, can, where yeah. can they find you? Have to, you have to make sure you tell everybody it's, where they it's... can find your music yes. and where they can find you so that we can, you know, put you out there as much as we can. Exactly. So where yeah. can they find you? Thank you. you? It's actually available everywhere. Main platforms being Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, Deezer, iTunes. You know, it's basically, it's everywhere. It's yes, everywhere. It's, it's out there. SoundCloud, Audio Mac, yeah, it's there. Once they put and DJ Adam. They, and then where can they find you on, on social, your social media platforms? Social media, I'm only on SoundCloud, YouTube, and Instagram. That would be DJ Letters, A-D-D-O. Yeah, when you right. type that in, you you should find me there. Thankfully, there's not many DJ autos out there, so you wouldn't <laughs> nice. have trouble. Yeah. Thank you as much. But what advice do you have for people that are up and coming, even the ones that are out there as far as being an artist, promotion, you know, any advice that you have from your experience? Okay, so advice. Um know what you're getting into before you get into it like i said earlier learn the rules for the game before you play and make sure it's something that you want to do and you know you see yourself doing and how far it could go two would be network as much as you can you know make connections meet new people don't be afraid to go out there in person connections and impressions are the best that you could make and leave a you know mark on somebody they would remember that um, you know, feed off of their energy and go off of that. Also, I would say, um, you know, stay focused. Remember your goal. Keep going at it day by day. Try to improve, work on your craft and um, have fun. Don't forget to have fun. You know, um, what else I could say? Advice. Um, if was there's there, any. Was there, was there anything that was difficult in all of the things that you've done? Which one was the hardest? the hardest thing that you had to do starting to use my voice i it was to the point where like even after creating best side and some of my first songs i never listened to them afterwards i would turn them away or turn them off i didn't want to hear myself mm. sounding oh my recorded or yeah i still have problems with it today but not as bad as back then you know and yeah my voice i need to get used to in my voice and just being outspoken because growing up i was always quiet and you know people would never expect me to be the person that i am today you know i would be the quiet one in the house or the family right. you know and just in a corner on a laptop the mm. entire time hey. the quiet, the, watch out for the quiet ones, quiet ones. <laughs> yes they will surprise you every time 
yeah. especially if they're talented and when they come out and they do their thing it's yeah. it's you know it's very interesting like the same thing with with myself sometimes i would listen to myself speak things that yeah. i did before during our yeah. recordings and i'm like <laughs> why did my yeah. life look like this so why am i speaking like this especially when yeah. you were like 10 years back depending on yeah. when you first started but the thing is is like where our worst critique but it makes yeah. us better hey. yeah. i really i really am like even today i ended up in a bad mood because of how i was critiquing something about myself in terms of music yeah it's, it, it could be that bad at times but you know yeah i just yeah. breathe and take some deep breaths and keep going yeah yeah and allow and allow yourself to you know say like yeah. you know what i I've, I've done so much already because yeah. how old are you if you 21, don't mind 21 years of age what? You yes. should not be beating up yourself. You know how much you've done compared to. Oh some my god! People? I mean, you know, I just have that that hungry attitude. You know, I always want more, and you know. Uh, Listen, the next no time you tell yourself something negative, just picture Julia hitting you in your head. What? <laughs> <laughs> Which one is Julia? That's you, right? Yeah. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, yes. I mean, you shocked me. Like, I thought at least 25, 26, a little older. Yeah. But I know I was born. Yeah. No, I was born in 2000. And it's been a little over two years since I started singing. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're like wow. a year older than my daughter. Yeah. From August 2019. That mm. was the best side. Yeah, that was the best side. Well, starting. kudos to you, my dear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You want about left side? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking, speaking of that, you know, some of the songs, especially yeah. the, the dancehall ones, like those that are more explicit, mm. you, 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 you sound like what I picture my mom to, to say to me, you know, when she heard those songs. But thankfully, she hasn't said anything to me, but I know she's probably heard them. Yeah, she, uh, she's heard them and she's waiting. Yeah. <laughs> But the, but the serious ones, the serious ones, when, when you listen to the, the, the lyrical the lyrics, content yeah. and you saying that, you know, you like poetry and all that stuff. I mean, keep on doing what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank and you. If it's to, to write for other artists or I don't know if you've done that. Yeah, it's something that I'll try. You know, Ricky T from St. Lucia, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. I sent a, I sent a power soccer demo to him, actually. That's exclusive news. He nice. never really, you know, did it, but. Yeah, it's something that I've tried. Yeah, you know, I try to get into everything that music involves. Yeah, you know, a little right. bit of everything. Yeah. Well, right. young man, look, you're off. To, you're off to a great Good start. start. Thank you. And, Thank and, and you. Anyone who has not responded or or has responded in the negative before, you keep going, and yeah. within yeah. the next two years, they will be looking to seek <laughs> you out. That's what yeah. I see. So well Thank done. You. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, for your it. mother too. Yeah. yeah. I can't help it. I can't help it. Yeah. So yeah. one thing we want to touch on, uh, which yeah. we mm-hmm. mentioned, I mean, I want you to plug your album because that's what you're on here for. Mm-hmm. Plug your album, say the name of it and so forth, where people can find it, you know. Let's go. Okay, so well, we, we already said where we, we can find it on all social platforms. All social media, yeah. 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 With plug the name yeah. and stuff like that. Plug the name of it. So hello everybody. My name is DJ Ado from St. Lucia and I'm presenting my debut album called Reincarnate to You. It's a 20 track album and it's been released a week. It's been out for a week so far. It's available for download and for streaming basically everywhere. Hope you enjoyed. And I'm 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 accepting all types of feedback. Thank you. <laughs> yes, and you'll yeah. definitely hear it um at the end of our taping. We yeah. also interject it in the, the midst of it. So, you know, you'll hear mm. the adults. In the background. Put, yeah. Right. And we'll yeah. also put yeah. the link um, on it. And for people who just signed in, Juliet yeah. and I was playing the left side, right side, left side in the beginning. Yeah. So you get a little <laughs> just of it there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah thank yeah. you. Yeah. Is there anything else you wanted to tell anyone before we get into our topic? Um, I just want to say, mm-hmm. I just want to say, um, Thank you to everybody that has been supporting so far and, you know, taking part and just seeing the vision and believing in me, basically. Yeah. To everybody. Yeah. Every, and thank you to everybody listening right now and everybody that will listen. 
Yeah. Good. Thank you. Yeah. This, you, have, you haven't heard the end of this young man, man. You got to just keep, just listen to his album. He's absolutely amazing. At yeah. least I'm, I'm very you. impressed. And you're going to, we're going to see a lot more. So we'll have yeah. you back on in a few yeah, years. Yeah. I was like, about to say that. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say that. Yeah. yeah. So I, I look forward to being back, you know. Yeah, to, to, any yeah. Give an update. Have, yeah, an update. Yeah. Yeah. Any yeah. updates you have, you send it to us and then we do updates as well. Like anyone who's coming out with songs, we usually put it on our Instagram page or on our YouTube mm-hmm. page when we're doing songs, you know, yeah. when yeah. we're doing um artists, um, anything that they're doing that's new. Yeah. Oh so, no problem. Since you are so versatile and you know a lot about <laughs> relationships and, <laughs> stuff, and you're 21, <laughs> but still we're gonna be light on you because now you're 21. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're gonna hear it from the perspective of the youth. Of a 21 yeah. year old, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so one question we had, um, anyone who's mm-hmm. just tuning in, you're locked in to table talk show with Nikki G and Juliet. We're on here with DJ Addo who has his album out and you would see it in our recording on tabletalkshow.nj. The NJ starts for Nicole and Juliet or Nikki G and Juliet. I hardly say Nicole, but it's Nikki G and Juliet. And um, our conversation now is relationships. And especially during this pandemic, we want to know how has it been for maybe people Ado's age or if Ado's <laughs> dating or if he's, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If he's look, look. you know, he's I don't like, want to put no. it out there. I'm I'll ask him the question. <laughs> is he dating or is he single? But how is it now? Because now through this pandemic, is it, a, a, is it hard to date or is it easier to date someone because you know they're in the house all the time? How has it been? Okay, so I would say it depends in my situation it um it was harder and at the starting of the pandemic back in 20 yeah it was last what year was it? it was last year yeah. 2020 yeah it was last year um yeah it actually in a good way it actually helped see the end of my last relationship because it it um it revealed some stuff like you know that the person wasn't willing to basically go through the hard times being the pandemic at the time and like Mm -hmm. see through and like you know trust in time and stuff like that so it helped me see that side of my partner at the time and it actually aided towards the end um Mm. so and i would say it's it's actually better for Oh, by the way, it was long distance. It was long distance. Yeah, oh, that, that, that's the missing oh, piece to it. Yeah, it was long distance. So, you know, like being able to fly back to St. Lucia and, you know, spend time and stuff. It was you know? really long distance. So, but you know, but yeah. you know what, though? I, I, I tend to think that relationships right now, anyone who's starting a relationship or in a relationship, you can't, re- you, especially last year, you couldn't really see them as much because because you, you yeah. everybody stayed inside as well yeah, not much so you would really. you would yeah. have had that separation so it's almost like we were all in long distance relationships where we couldn't <laughs> see each other anyway and yeah. so you 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 have to learn a different side of that person right and, yeah, and it's, right. it's kind of tough but it's it, it weeds out the ones that like yeah because you're, you're you're doing this a lot you're, you're chatting yeah. Yeah. more than hanging out and you know so with the chat and you're getting to know each other more and in knowing more you're like i don't think that's yeah. a good fit for me true yeah true yeah, yeah, basically, yeah you, you, are, yeah. you are a rum drinker you're rum drinkers. Yeah. <laughs> so, and some people can do conversations like you know their yeah. mindset like you want to hold a, a, a thorough conversation with them and it's like all they want to do is certain things. So Yeah, and that's like, something okay, that that's something that yeah, I'm very big on. I'm very heavy on um communication and yeah. you know, comprehension likewise and you know being clear and being able to, you know, lay things out on a table and yeah, be truthful. Yeah. Yeah. A lot yeah. we can cut out all the little the little, you know things that you shouldn't be doing and it you it's, it's all about getting to know each other and 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 you had no choice we had no choice yeah we were doing it wrong all along who would have thought <laughs> <laughs> so now look look now when you 
you meet someone, you don't have to go and, and, and plan a date right away. Don't spend no yeah. money. Let's talk. Let's talk. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Yeah. When we when we get to know each other a little bit more and know all about you and what you're about and if you're a yeah. rum drinker, and then we can, you know, then we can say if we we can go on a date. Go on yeah, a date. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Have yeah. You have an excuse. Yeah. yeah. And, and don't drink rum, guys, on a date. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want them to drink, Juliet? If they don't non, drink mean excessively. Non-alcoholic non beverages, the, the virgin pina colada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I, I stay away from, from alcohol and, you know, so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, virgin, you know, man, yes, uh, you, sh you should be staying away from alcohol. You just, you just made it legal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but yeah, don't get at the man. Oh my god! <laughs> no, no, I like the fact that he's a he's a communicator. Yeah, yeah. I love that. But love but that. most times you'd find, I mean, just just let's not think about the age factor, even though we, we know about the age factor and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. But sometimes you'd find people who drink. That's their vice. And then people who probably like chocolates or people who like beer more than wine and stuff like that. So yeah. since you don't drink, what is your vice? Do you smoke? Do you you write more? You talk oh, more? You I'm, I'm, don't, I'm don't let me hit you again, Ado. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> basically talking and like music, probably um karaoke or dancing together or. Mm. You know, I'm talking stuff out, going for a drive, going sightseeing, oh, like right. adventures. Right. Um, you know, surprises. Young kids, listen to stuff this like that. Um, you know, um, yeah. So if if probably the most would be wine, like being honest, probably just yeah. some wine, some sweet wine. Um, yeah. You know, and just nothing too crazy nothing too that's right yeah. nothing too crazy yeah. right now. nothing too crazy yeah listen if she drinks rum don't go with her anyway <laughs> um <laughs> i've learned i've learned i've learned that the hard way you know yeah i've learned <laughs> all right you rum drinkers i'm only joking i'm only joking but my, <laughs> my dad likes rum <laughs> yeah. oh he does yeah he does <laughs> yeah. Every, right, everybody has their thing sense, yeah man. Yeah, everyone yeah, everybody has, has their thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. I, ha I had yeah. someone here say, um, good interview. Um, it, it's kind of like the first time he's hearing about the music and stuff like that, but he said he's looking forward to hearing more from you. Yeah, thank, thank yeah, you. That's and, um, Eric Barry, yeah, more is definitely on the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, we, well, we should have. We really need to spin it and say, Eric. So, what is what is your worst date like, Eric? I know. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I didn't realize. I mean, the hour goes by so fast. So Juliet is nine o'clock. Oh. Oh yeah. wow. <laughs> we have to, listen, DJ Adol. We have to have you back because you you have entertained me today. He yes. said, "Thank you, what? thank you, and you're welcome." <laughs> Yeah, uh, you guys as well. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Very, very entertaining. <laughs> very entertaining. Yeah. yeah. Oh my they goodness. Yeah, they say when you're having fun, you know, you don't even realize the time is passing yeah, by. So it goes by so fast. It really, yeah. really does. You know? Yeah. So I'll just ask you one more question before we sign out. And I'm, and I'm mm -hmm. always asking this question. Mm -hmm. um, what would you tell your younger self now? I would tell my younger self to. Trust the biggest, the bigger picture. Have try to see the different angles and different perspectives and stuff. Take your time, like you say, like um, you know, you're still young. Don't be too hard on yourself. Take your time. Have fun. Um, I would tell my younger self to listen more. Listen more to my parents and stuff. And um. Oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> Wait, let me interject there. Why would you tell yourself listen to your parents more? What have they told you that you see that you know you could have you you, you should have I was been. I was a rebellious child in a sense and I would I used to do stuff like gambling and it, it basically never used to pay me any benefit, you know, and see me push me any further towards my goal in life or anything like that. So if anything, it was only taken away from me. So you know, in regards to stuff like that, just listen, you know, to mm. yeah. Okay. So um, that's that's basically it, you know. Just 
Yeah, just stay humble and keep working hard and, you know, believe in yourself. Yeah, believe in yourself, you know? Yeah. Would you like yeah. to take well, us out um, on an acapella? I don't know if Julia okay, has any um, other questions or... No, I mean we've 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 had him tied up for so long yeah. <laughs> with us. <laughs> we appreciate the time. Do you need music something? for it or no? Just... No, I'll I'll sing my um my second song. Okay. My second okay. song. Just just a piece of it. Let let yeah. don't give them all of it, you know, because we gotta <laughs> let them go for this. All right. This go. this one um the same thought process went into it. I when I got the beat from Seagull Productions again, the producer of my first song. I was thinking about myself on top of one of those carnival trucks and having a mic in man, and I was wondering what would I want to tell the people to do. So yeah, Very and then I came. I, so I came up with this one. This was the end product. Okay, um, DJ Ado, then chip, chip, chip behind the truck. Don't play stiff. In your costume, you're looking so sweet. Monday and Tuesday on the road we lit, lit, chip, chip, chip behind the truck. Don't play stiff. In your costume, you're looking so sweet. Monday and Tuesday on the road we lit. Make me shock where the truck stop. Boy, I tell you, don't forget your cup. Find your team be rolling in fours when the first song play. We get in on my hydro pack that intact. Strong rum alone. I put in in that. Could have be shabin or black. Hmm. I whining on that. <laughs> That's it. Wake up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can't forget your cup. You can't forget your cup. You gotta store the liquor on the road. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that was DJ Adam. Thank you, thank you. Thank Very you. nice. Yes. I oh my goodness. Go on, Nikki. <laughs> Don't let me cut you off. Go ahead. Send no, no, no. I'm just saying that was DJ Adam, and we're just so thankful that he came on the show and he spent time with us over an hour, guys. Woo woo. Um, so your turn to keep. <laughs> <laughs> <Like a woo-woo. laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in to Table Talk Show with Nikki G and Juliet. It's very rare that we go live on Facebook or Instagram. Yeah. You know. But we were glad to bring this show to you. This is um, one of our show ending seasons. We have a show that's coming out on Monday, but we thank Ado so much um, for tuning in today, you know, to, for bringing his presence on our show and singing a cappella, telling us his story and stuff like that. Yeah. And look forward to more from DJ Addo and Table Talk Show with Nikki G and Julia. And Julia. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. All right. Good night. Right. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Nothing at all. I put it on your soak on your dance hall. But for the time now, I'm doing an inspirational song for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> JP. Yeah. But where you come from, where you are now, you know me. Motivational thing I'm doing all day. Say less. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. So big up all of those who never believe in me. For real. Must make it one day. I hope you live to see. Clear to. The youth from Odlam City, you never give a chance. Not once. Start them in my path. And it's only just begun. Trust me. Georgetown Hospital, I born, but cast trees, everything find me. <laughs> Growing up, disrespect, I used to take them thing lightly. Serious. Cause I was never brought up and taught. Violence, mm-hmm. always left them thing in God hands, so many enemies gone to rest. Odlam City raised me, cast trees and used to blaze me. Hot VG feel on a Saturday, try to make it on TV for mommy. <laughs> After that, roll in the game shop and flex the rest. But to get that money, trust me. I was never honest Riding bike and bursting bamboo Living with no regrets But from time the pool lights on in bed I had to rest From gambling to smoking Things I used to try And when I started missing my father I just used to cry Thankful for my mother and everything that she did Sorry for the times I made you cry With the things that I did Was never the best child Growing up But you never stop loving me Neglect me Or give me up Bad times, bad people, bad decisions. Sometimes when it all comes down at you at once, it feels like a bad life, you know what? Boy. Jano man just want to live the good life. Stress free and happy. Yeah. DJ I do. There. Pain. All humans bring. Give up your heart. That's not enough offering. Pain. And suffering. 
all I got from trusting human beings The vengeance I feel, but I refuse to sin If I ever fall short, I own up and come clean Got eyes on my friends, but should watch family first Cause compared to strangers, they would do me worse This world we live in, is very scary Not even until 25 Things go see merry, generation after next That then gets deep So me fully paranoid and watching the company I keep Today for you, tomorrow for me but both destinations is the cemetery Put nothing past no one, expect the unexpected Cause you'd be surprised who I see you See dead. the test, a better life is to have no regret Couple team ready to strive, no we have finished yet Some people see the vibes, but all they do is stare Some things just won't be right if you don't give it care And sometimes I know it's hard, but I'm not asking much Yeah, some bodies keep me right, I don't know who to trust Petty lies and useless fights, I guess I've seen enough But there's still some things to find, just not in any rush Yeah his face too much Barely could see me out Don't like the crowd too much Stay away from people's problems All at loud talk Keep your guard propped up Can't show no love So we stay mad stuff How me trust them gone Can't fix nobody else's If it's all fucked up Might just cause a chain reaction Cause a lot more harm Would you just think once Did you prove any points Some say me try too much Yeah Some say me try too much Seven five eight. <laughs> it's Moolah, baby. Oh, DJ Ado, there. Send Lucia for the gallon. Girl, I bring you respect. Let me be your prince. Take you to an island. Yes, at least see one seven five eight. That's where I be. Green fig and salt fish and chill by the beach. Never been that type, but for you I will feel. Let me be your main source in your time of need. Cancel my plans, yeah, for you I will lean. Let's talk about childhood and just reminisce. Come parry a spice, even a boy drinking. Turn up the speaker loud, let the music sink in. Everything on me, girl, forget the price. We can watch the sunset, then we do some vibes. Take you to an island. I'm an island boy, diamonds on me shining, boy. Body like a gypsy, wind up like a lip, so love it when you dip, so and when you move your hips, so dip and flip, girl. I can't resist. Let's go, Jamaica, skinny dip in. Let's go, Bahamas, sex in pajamas. No more being at the crib, worrying about your mama. When I said the moon, I mean honeymoons. Upon first sight, girl, you were so rude. But look at you now, I got you fly, then we flew. Nobody expected this, only got I bring you risk. Respect. Let me be your prince, take you to an island, yes, at least see 1758, that's where I be Eat green fig and salt fish and chill by the beach Fly you out and fly you back again I swear this could be us, but you keep capping, yeah Keep your beat, your back, yeah Focus on your body, I do. Love how you be riding on me If I get that ring, yeah, would you say I do? Shorty super bad, I love the way she move But I'm too fly, gotta keep my cool Gotta keep my, yeah, I don't how you love the girl, damn Freaky if you be the weed, I be the blame Mix it Me and you could be more than just friends Sneaky Love story, it don't gotta end It don't gotta end Says it all. It's our show with Nikki G and Juliet. Nikki G and Juliet.